good afternoon everybody forehead shining through forehead is giving it's giving forehead there's nothing i hate more than stupidity and bad takes in life i think a lot of times people assign ideals obviously based on their lived experiences and so for that reason we often find ourselves judging people because of the way that we would do things if we were in that situation. Well, you're not in that situation. You're not, and you won't be, ever. This criticism of Zion Williamson for betting and impregnating a porn star is kind of annoying to me. Uh, first of all, I don't job shame, slut shame. I don't care what anybody does in this world. I am the least judgmental person that you think that you know. You don't know me. You do not know me at all, I'm telling you. I'm the least just judgmental person that you think you know. First of all, shout out to Zion for running the biggest finesse, running them pockets for nothing. I love to see it. I am not here to, um, uh, to hate on that man. It's all good. Second of all, what is your dumb complaining about? Ain't no way on God's green earth Zion is going to run into any of y'all at the Rite Aid, the Waffle House, the Walgreens and get your number. Not you girl, not you boy, not they and not them. It ain't gonna happen. In an alternate universe where I am a Zion on permanent vacation, a millionaire on permanent vacation, why would I want you? Chaste as I may be in my personal life and just generally disgusted and annoyed with all of you, one thing I do champion it's everybody doing ho-ish. I love it. I think it's wonderful. And I want y'all to live your best lives and bag and bed whomever you can. I think it's great. Now that being said, why would an NBA player not bang a porn star? He know what she's giving, right? You already know what she's doing. So why wouldn't he do that? You want to? You mean to tell me your little nasty freak asses that if your favorite porn star right now showed up at your doorstep, you wouldn't take that down? Oh guys, <laughs> we're all adults here. Things happen. People get pregnant. Zion can afford for people to get pregnant. Get over yourself. Just because you live in any town you would say, and you ain't got options, not that many, doesn't mean that someone who is almost on an impossible career path, I mean, this is just almost an impossible job to have, doesn't have the options to. So if I'm an NBA player, there's two things I am going to personally assess. I'm going to assess risk and I'm going to assess reward. Is it worth it? Money's not an option. You guys keep bringing certain things into things that don't matter to the people that are in the predicaments of the situation. You think Zion Williamson is thinking about $200 a week child support? Are you bugging right now? Are you, are you serious with that? But I bet he bangs more holes in a week than you have your whole life. There's also this annoying and presumed assumption of monogamy uh, for all relationships. First of all, your man is cheating on you, your girl is cheating on you, whatever the case may be. Everybody got somebody. I don't care who you are. Everybody got somebody they can call on. Somebody's cheating on you, and you know what? You just go through phones, you deal with whatever you deal with, and you stay. You're miserable, but you stay. You're miserable, but you stay. Why don't you love me? Why you cheating on me? Blah, blah, blah. But you stay. Everybody ain't monogamous. Everybody doesn't have the same idea of what a relationship looks like. So this idea that we're all looking for this one type of way or this one type of relationship, it's just BS. So I'm, I don't pay attention to other people's business. Like, stay out of people's business, y'all. Y'all don't know what's going on. Zion is banging porn stars. You, sir, tried to get my number while I was cashier at the Walgreens.